Hey guys, how's it going? So Gundam Evolution has released a new video regarding the Season 2 update that's coming soon. So I thought I'd sit down and watch it and do a live reaction. So let's go ahead and kick it off and see what it's all about. Welcome to the Gundam Evolution Mission Briefing. Gundam Evolution is a free-to-play, six-on-six, first-person Gundam team shooter with a unique boost system that enhances the speed and realism of the game. Here is the latest information, so please stick with us until the very end. We'd like to start with this. Looks like we're gonna get a trailer. That looks like a new... Oh, a new colony map. Oh, we got the new Gundam. Alright, cool. Wonder if he's gonna be the only one. Beam rifle. Is that a bazooka? A backflip. Obviously makes a shield. Wonder if the shield, like blocks everything or makes you uh, take reduced damage. I saw his uh, little turrets were flying out. I hope they add another mobile suit. I mean, New Gundam's cool, but I would have liked to see something a little more out there. I'm honestly surprised New Gundam wasn't in earlier, considering how popular it is. Would have liked We've to see some so Gundam Wing representation. And a strong community has been developed for this game. Guess that'll be it for now. Well, I'm honestly really happy, and I'd like to say thank you to all the Gundam Evolution fans. We've received a lot of positive messages, and these messages have really lifted up our team members. However, since this was our first multi-language service launch, we had difficulties with making announcements, as well as having enough announcements, so this is something we would really like to improve on. When the game released, I really enjoyed down returns to the no, US what did I do there? For this game. Or where is it? Since this was our first multi language server, so what, what they were saying is they were wanting more announcements. I'm wondering if, just aside from announcements, if they mean uh, more frequent updates, changes, fixes, because that would be interesting if they're planning on increasing the update schedule. First launch. We had difficulties with making announcements, as well as having enough announcements, so this is something we would really like to improve on. When the game released, I really enjoyed the boost system, and I found myself playing a lot. What kind of feedback... The boost system is honestly one of the best things about this game that separates it from other hero shooters. The action that the boost system provides is extremely fun. The lack of roles in this game allows them to play really any unit they want. Our development... I don't know if I'd really talked about it before, but the boost system, for those who haven't played the game, is each mobile suit has a little stamina bar that's broken up into different segments, and you can dash, and it uses up a segment of that stamina bar. It's different segments for each. Some of them have only one boost, some of them have two, and then some of them have three, but it just completely changes the movement of the gameplay. Everything's a lot more fast-paced with it. The team is really happy to hear this. Also, not just overseas, but here in Japan, we've received messages from people who started watching the anime or purchased Gunpla because they played this game. This also makes me really happy. Beginning in Season 2, this game will be coming out on home console systems. 
From what we learned from our network test, we have optimized the game, so I hope players who haven't had access to this game up until now will be able to play. I haven't done a lot of reading about the console release, but does anybody know if it's going to be cross-platform or if you're locked into either being console, PC, or if each console is specifically locked in with people playing on that same console? I don't know if you know. Let me know. Mobius. Can you tell us about season two? Mobius? Yes. The new unit for season two will be New Gundam. New Gundam is the mobile suit that Amuro, the main protagonist of Mobile Suit Gundam Shar's counterattack, uses. It's a really popular one. It features special equipment called the Fin Funnel. Wow, the new mobile suit is the new Gundam, huh? This is really exciting. That's right. Let's now have Hogaki, the battle director, go more into depth about this unit. Alright, cool. Ability breakdowns, hopefully. I'm so excited to be here with the battle director of Gundam Evolution, Hogaki-san. Thank you so much for being here with us. I heard that there's going to be a new mobile suit. Can you show us? The new unit we will be introducing is... New Gundam. Its main weapon is a mid-range beam rifle. The active skill mid -range. is the fin funnel. Okay. The active skill two is the new hyper bazooka. Okay, so it is a bazooka. The G maneuver is the fin funnel barrier. What's that flip then? I will be explaining each of the skills in more detail. People really love the select animations. How did you go about creating the animations for this particular unit? When people think of new Gundam, they think of the fin funnel. So I asked the motion team to make sure the fin funnel looks cool. I will now be showing off the skills in training mode. First, we have active skill one, the fin funnel. When you have a target, you can activate it to send two fin funnels to shoot the target four times each. However, if you can hit the target with any other attack twice, it will show a marker on the screen. And in this state, activating the fin funnel will send out four fin funnels. So if you hit it twice and then do the fin funnels, that's a lot more damage from the looks of it. Be interested to see how that plays. Each shooting four shots each. Additionally, if you hit the target four times before activation, it will send out six fin funnels that will shoot four shots. Oh, each. even better. It's an you can interesting mechanic. Marks, so always try to remember to hit the enemy four times before activation. You got 10 shots on the rifle. Next, we have the new Hyper Bazooka. When activating the new Hyper Bazooka, pressing a direction will allow new Gundam to move in that direction. Okay, that must be that backflip thing. Try using this to space out close-ranged units or adjusting the range between you and your enemies. The first-person view and third-person view are different, so I'd like to share that with you right now as well. It's going to take some getting used to with it moving you. You just do a quick dodge to whatever direction you're moving when you fire it. Lastly, I'd like to explain the fin funnel barrier. When activated, the fin funnels will create a barrier in all directions, blocking ranged attacks. However, if the enemy makes it inside the barrier, new Gundam will take damage. You want to make sure your enemies are outside the barrier. I wonder if it can block uh, enemy attacks for your whole team. That could be a really good pushing tactic. To let you uh, get down a gap. Get your whole team clustered in there. The new, unit. There is a new map, isn't there? The new map that will be added is the Colony Trading Post. Okay, so that was a new map. This map is a city type colony. The first area sets the battle in the city area. The destruction targets are A, located up here, and B. 
on the I wish they would have done a uh, map of each type. What that is, is after a certain amount of time, the shutters that are open or closed will alternate. Oh, that's going to be As annoying. You can see here, the shutter in the front is opening while the one in the back is closing. By utilizing this, we wanted players to experience battle with an ever-changing line of sight. Having that shift around is going to make or break the match in some cases, I'm betting. <laughs> the top site does not have the shutter gimmick. But since it is an open area, for teams that consist of a lot of mid to long ranged units, I recommend planting on this site. The second area takes the battle to inside the colony, an underground area. There is another new gimmick in this area, the conveyor belt. Well, that's pretty cool with gimmick, the moving, uh, close the enemy line of sight. moving cover. Or if you so please, you can use it to close in on your enemies. Should make for Lastly, some interesting pushes through there. The second destruction targets. The first of the destruction is the transporter. Or the a runway tight space located below. The lower site implements the shutter gimmick I described earlier. It alternates between the front and back shutter as well as the side shutters. This gimmick can save you from being attacked during detonation or let you plant because of the line of sight change. These are the kind of situations we wanted to create. Be interesting if it completely blocked so, off more access. Can you tell us about the new features being added in like a whole two? path being blocked of off. This season will feature tons of items from Mobile Suit Gundam Shars Counterattack. My personal favorites are Sazabi's new MVP and New Gundam's new select animation. There are many items that the fans of the original movie would love, but I think the Psycho Frame Stamp is going to be a must, although I really love the New Gundam Plane Skin. Also, we will be featuring the unit unlock for New Gundam, a rare skin set, and the Amado portrait in the unit pack, Mobius. Wow, that's already tons of new features. Is there anything else? Oh yes. As an MP purchase item, there will be the Gundam Barbatos second form skin. Additionally, the game will feature a brand new function called titles, and the custom matches will have some quality improvements. We're also working on the ranked match system. What is this new titles function? Yes, similar to player icons and portraits, it is a feature that can be seen by other players. However, in so just another pointless cosmetic thing that doesn't really matter. I wish they would uh talk about some balance Instead changes. Of them in season passes or supply pods, you will receive them depending on your past battle records. Also, the PC version will have a spectator mode implemented before the home console version. Oh, that's cool. Spectator mode. I hear there's some region-specific news. Can we take a look? Gundam Expo USA 2022. Top streamers Dyrus and Sure 4 will be live on stage at Anime NYC. Really with part of the Gundam Expo. They'll be playing New Gundam York was closer. Exhibition matches with support from the live audience. Would have really liked to have gone to Gundam Expo. Returns to the U.S. to celebrate the release of season two. Sign up now to compete in the open bracket for a chance to take home a share of the twenty thousand dollar prize pool. Visit GundamEvolution.com for more information. All these new features in the game are amazing. I can't wait to see what's in season three. And to those watching, thank you so much for being here today. We are really big final to announcement. Share future updates with you. The feedback you've been giving us has been greatly appreciated, and we hope you continue to support our game. Game 
guess that's it. Alright, well, I was hoping for more than just one new unit, but... And I was hoping for something different than New Gundam. I think New Gundam, a lot of people kind of expected it to come at some point. But I would have really liked to have seen something from Gundam Wing. Something crazy, like maybe uh, Epion, Tall Geese, or Death Scythe. Uh, anyways, the console launch and Season 2 are both hitting on the 30th of this month. So... I'm looking forward to hopping in, seeing what the new season pass has to offer, trying out new Gundam. Uh, what did you guys think of the announcement? Are you planning on uh, playing some more during season two? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Follow me on uh, Twitch as well, where I do live streams. Anyways, we'll catch you next time, guys. Thanks for watching.